What's going on, everybody? What's going on? It's your boy, Derek Casey, coming to you live from the ATL. That's right. I am on a business trip this weekend. Got a couple of hours before we kick off this amazing weekend. But I wanted to come in and just talk to you guys because I was just sitting in my room, right? And I was just kind of reflecting, just taking some time and just thinking of my journey uh, from the beginning, getting to this point and what has transpired, some of the obstacles um, that I had to overcome, uh, some of the relationships that I was able to build um, to the point of the success that I'm seeing nowadays and what's to come. And I was just thinking to myself, man, I'm like, you know what? Through everything that I've been through, and I've been on this journey in network marketing for quite some time, and you know, I, I've had my, my, my opinions and, I, and my experiences, and I can definitely tell you that I am truly thankful um, for the doors that network marketing has opened up for myself. I can't speak for nobody else. You know what I'm saying? Other people may have had bad experiences uh, for whatever reason, but I can definitely tell you that network marketing has changed my life and there is nobody on God's green earth that can convince me otherwise, right? That That network marketing doesn't work. And I'll give you the reasons why, okay? Because when it comes to network marketing, guys, um, what I love about it is that it gives everybody a chance to become a business owner without the large capital to get started, okay? Let me, let me say that one more time. Network marketing gives everyone a chance to become a business owner without the large capital that's involved with getting started, okay? Network marketing is no different than franchising a business. It's no difference. I mean, it's time for you guys to understand and wake up and smell the coffee because for some reason, people will say um, they're okay with franchising a Chick-fil-A, a McDonald's, a Burger King, um, you know, any other company that's out there, right? But when it comes to network marketing, they they have an issue. They think that it's different, and it's really not. It's really not. It's the same concept um, that comes along with network marketing as it is in franchising a business. Because if you go and franchise a company, guys, you're already franchising an established company with an established product or service, and you have to go out here and market and get customers so that way you can generate revenue. But because you are franchising in an established name, they're going to get their cut of your business. They're going to get a cut of it. That's just just kind of just kind of a quick overview of, you know, going into franchise a business, but in network marketing, it's the same thing, guys. You are investing into established companies, right? And they come up with a compensation plan, and with the compensation plan and everything, it allows you to go out here and market and grow the business where you generate revenue and then the company gets their piece so that way they can keep everything running right in the background as far as like the servers and the websites and everything that goes into making sure the upkeep of the business is there but you still get a chance to generate revenue for you and your family and as your team comes on you can help them do the same thing um, and that's what i love and i'm gonna give you for an example <clears throat> the other day i was actually driving uh, to work and we were driving past the steak and shake and the steak and shake has closed down but there was a big sign that was on the side of the building a big sign that was on the side of the building and it said that you could franchise a steak and shake for ten thousand dollars kid you not it said ten thousand dollars and you can keep 50 percent of your profits Th this was on the sign the next time i go by that sign i'm gonna take a picture and i'm gonna post it up for you guys okay because it said $10,000. So in your mind, right, in your mind, as you are driving past and you see this company says $10,000 to franchise this business, right? In your mind, you probably think like, oh, that's not bad, right? $10,000 to franchise a steak and shake is not bad. But then you got to give 50% of your profits away. So that means you only have 50% of the revenue that comes in <clears throat> and you still have to pay <clears throat> you still got to pay your employees. You still got to make sure you got product and everything like that off of 50% of the profits that you make. So I want you guys to understand that because network marketing, I mean, dude, listen, network marketing, and this is just kind of my take on it, right? It stemmed from, let me, let me give it to you, referral programs. Network marketing 
in my opinion, was formed from referral programs. Let me tell you the reason why. Watch how it works. A lot of the big companies out there, when they have a business, the biggest piece of their business is marketing. Because when you market, you have to drive people into the business to try out your product or service, experience the customer experience, you know, all of those things. You got you to gotta put money out there to generate those people and bring those people back in, right? That's just, that's just business 101, right? And what happens is, is that a lot of times when companies put that money out there, they, it's, there's no guarantee that, that those marketing dollars that they put out, out there is going to generate or drive the people to their business, which is going to turn into revenue, and then they get a return on their investment. So you see a lot of companies now that are losing money on the marketing side because things like magazine ads and newspaper ads and putting commercials on TV and all of these things, those things, they work still, but they're not as effective nowadays because why? Everybody's on social media now. So now they have to kind of shift their marketing. Now, when I talk about referral programs, this is how it came in. Because when you get when you when you start building up your customer base in any business that you're in, the first thing you want them to do is you want those people to go out and start telling other people about your company. You want them to go out there. Why? Because these are people who actually utilize your product. They utilize your service. They, they're they excited about it. They love spending money on it, everything like that. So you want your exciting your excited customers to go out <clears throat> and bring new people in because what's more effective? Nobody likes a salesperson. So why send a salesperson to go try to sell somebody to come in, right? But if you get a customer that tells you the same thing, I'm going to give you for an example. If a salesperson came to you and told you uh, this is a this charger right here is the greatest charger you can charge uh, several devices at one time this is something that's really awesome whatever the case in your mind you're probably not going to be excited about that because this is a salesperson that worked for this company is trying to sell you this plug right but if somebody that you know like and trust purchased this plug and they used it and they loved it and it worked and it plugged into different devices and you got a fast charge and, and things all at one time, or whatever the case. And they said, man, this charger is absolutely amazing. I, man, I, I just got this and man, I was able to charge my laptop, my phone and my tablet all at the same time with just one charger. And I got, you know, you know, whatever the case, you're probably going to be more excited about that as opposed to a salesperson trying to tell you about this charger. Right. So that's the reason why referral programs have been so effective for businesses, because when you have your customers who are using the services that can go out and then share their experience with other people, that's going to be more effective to draw more people in and have more trust and confidence in purchasing that product because somebody that they know, like and trust has already used it and said that it works and they shared their experience. So here's a cool part about that for, from a business aspect. The customers are already paying you money on a monthly basis. They're already paying for that product or service. So you didn't have to pay them to go out there and tell other people about it. That means you didn't have to pay marketing dollars and put those out there. But what's really cool is that when they go out and tell people and they bring you new customers, guess what you're generating? You're generating more money for your business. So somebody came up with the idea, man, you know what? Why not incentivize our customers to go out here and share with other people. Because if they're gonna do it on their own, how many more people would they reach out to if we throw a little monetary value on it, right? How many people would they reach out to? And that's what it is, because if you are gonna naturally tell people, but then the same company that you're excited about their product or service, right? Tell you that they're gonna give you money off your next purchase, or they're gonna give you some gift cards for each person that you um, refer or whatever the case, <clears throat> wouldn't that make you excited to be like, oh, well, shoot, well, I'm already doing that. Let me go tell other people and make that right. So that's how that stems. So when a, when a business owner say, well, man, I only, ha I only have to put this out here as an idea for our customers, and then they're going to do it. They bring us new customers. We pay them their little, their little portion out of their referrals and the company just generated money and they never had to put out money to get that coming back in. I mean, who wouldn't want to do that in the business?
who wouldn't want to have that? To not have to pay marketing dollars, and all you got to do is put up a referral program that excites your existing customers, and they go out and bring people to you, and you generate revenue, and you didn't have to put money out to get a return on that money. I don't know if I'm going too fast for you guys, but that's exactly what's going on with network marketing, right? So network marketing has a company, it has a product or service. They create a compensation plan that allows you now, instead of just getting gift cards when you refer people, um, you know, percentage off your next purchase or, you know, what are your bill or whatever the case. Now you get a chance to build a real business with an established company. I mean, you didn't have to go think of, bring up the idea of the company and what to buy and, and, and type of product and how to get cut. You didn't have to come up with any of that, any of those things at all. So now this gives you a real chance to come out and just go out and refer people. And the thing is that there's really no difference because guess what? A, cut, a, a person can never make a referral bonus from any company out here unless they're a paying customer. Unless they're a paying customer. Same thing in network marketing. You can't generate income from a network marketing business unless you are in the business or unless you're invested into the business. That's just how it is. So do you, do you guys kind of see the similarities between a referral program and when it comes to network marketing? There's really no difference. The only difference is that in network marketing, you actually get paid a lot more for your efforts as opposed to just a referral program. And a lot of times they put limits on referral programs. Um, you know, somebody got to be with them for so long before you see money and all of these different things in network marketing, you can start making money right away. You can start making money right away. It's, it's too easy. It's too easy. And if you guys really pay attention to the numbers and break the numbers down, I, and this is just a little gem I'm breaking down, and you find a common level that everyone should hit, if you get a big group of people together, and, and, and go for that one common goal for every single person, within 30 to 60 days, guys, you could be making more money residually than you're probably making at your job right now a year. You could probably be making that every single month. Super easy. If you strategically game plan, bring people together, let them know, hey, this is the game plan for everybody and let's rock out. Guys, y'all can eat these compensation plans alive and be living. That opens up more doors. Guys, I'm telling you right now, network marketing has opened up so many other doors. I have friends that came in here, started in network marketing, blew it up, took their money and started investing in real estate started investing in stocks and cryptocurrency and doing all of these different things because they took the money and leveraged the money that they made from network marketing to open up other streams of income. Guys, you got to open up your mind a little bit. So if you sitting back saying that a couple hundred bucks is too much to invest in a company, I, I don't know what to tell you. I, it's just, it's kind of crazy to me that you would cry over $200 to start a business and especially for you people that work jobs, guys, I got to tell you, having a job and working a business, it works one and the same. Man, it's a match made in heaven. Because now, while you're building your business, you have a solid job that you got income coming in that you can take care of your bills while building your business. And this is what I loved is because <clears throat> when I was doing it, and while I'm doing it, and I've been doing it for years, but I didn't realize that this is how you can start to shift the, the money game, right? We've been on the wrong side of the money game for so long, not understanding the rules of the wealthy and how it works, right? And sometimes we've been wondering in our mind, like, how is it that people that make millions and billions of dollars pay far less money than a person that is just working a job that make far less money. And the reason being is because they learn how to leverage a business. When you get a business, guys, and you have a job, the first thing is, is that you can stop overpaying the taxes. Real talk. Stop overpaying the taxes. I don't know about y'all. I don't like having to overpay in taxes. When I found that out, I did exactly what it was and I leveraged my business to put more money back in my paycheck. Here's the crazy thing about it, guys. I didn't have to ask my boss for a raise. 
I didn't have to work any extra hours to get that money. It was just put back in there by because I have a business. Here's the secret. The tax laws were never created for W-2 employees. It was never created for you guys, which is the reason why if you only have a W-2 job with no business is the reason why you are the highest tax. You got to get, you got to, you have to wrap your mind around that. So when you do that, how do you do it? Well, you start, you drive it through a home-based business. You could drive it through a traditional business if you want to, but First and foremost, do you have $10,000 or more right now in the bank account to start a traditional business? Do you have money in the account right now for you to start marketing and doing all of those things? No, but you probably have a hold to a hundred dollars, a couple hundred bucks to start you a home-based business. So that way you at least have a home-based business and now you can leverage it because you have a business in place. Guys, I'm trying to give you some gems. I've been telling people this. For a very long time, I've been telling people, I've been sharing with people, and still people don't believe. But it's crazy, because guess what? This trip that I took to Atlanta, okay? This trip that I took to Atlanta, I'm, I'm telling y'all right now, it's a tax write-off. I can write this whole trip off from the food that I eat, from my plane ticket, to this hotel room that I'm in, it's a tax write-off. It's coming off the money, and it's less than the amount that the government can tax me on. I, man, I'm trying to tell y'all, when y'all start learning this stuff, you start looking at things so different that I'm not I'm not fearful of going out and eating and spending, you know, a, a little bit of money because, you know what, I take that receipt, boop, with my app, my, ta my tax buy app, I'm good. That's a tax write-off. When I'm driving the miles, I, listen, this weekend, we learned, we getting some, some great stuff that's coming. I'm going to be coming to you guys and I'm going to be talking and building and building with you guys, man. This information is too good to just hold on to and not reach out. For the ones who don't want to believe, sit on the sideline, grab some popcorn, enjoy the show. But for the ones who ready, all I'm telling you. Don't come in here playing around. If you want to be on my team, we are not playing. 90 days, man, after this event, 90-day run, we are going hard, man. We are. I'm on a mission to helping as many people as I can position themselves to not have to deal with the struggle any longer. When I tell you that I got some things in place, you can believe me or not, but six months to a year from now, when y'all see it for yourself with your own eyes and you had the opportunity on the table and you let it go and you just kind of slid it to the side, that's on you. That is on you. But for the ones who take me up on this offer and say, you know what, Derek, I'm in, man. Let me, I want to be part of this and I'm going to put, I'm a, I want to give this 90 days a run. Ooh, y'all going to be, y'all going to have a testimony to share with people that's going to blow their mind. Trust me when I tell you. So, anyways, I just had to come on here, man. I was sitting in this room. I got some time today, man. I'm probably on video number three today because I'm super excited. I haven't been on a lot lately. So, um, but I just want to catch up with y'all. This game changer weekend is about to be fire. I already met with some of the business partners here, man. Just going down to the lobby and just seeing people. I'm just so fired up. Stay tuned, guys. Lots of pictures coming. A lot of great information after this weekend. And if you are tired of being sick and tired, you probably want to make sure you click the button and put notification because these, these videos that's coming, that's all I got to say. So with that being said, guys, y'all enjoy the rest of your Friday. Love you guys. God bless. We're going to holler at y'all soon. All right? Peace.